It's happening. And I'm a little bit excited. I'm sorry if the lighting's a little bit crazy in this video. I've literally, this is a new laptop. I've never recorded my mic on this laptop. I've never recorded video on this laptop. It's gonna be a new experience and you're gonna experience it with me and hopefully it's not horrible. Feel free to hate on me in the comments and let me know if it's horrible. Um, but I'm trying to put it together the best I can. So I bet we are all a little bit familiar with Isohel because, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right, because Eden played a little bit of it, or the beginning of it, um, at the very end of his 365X24 video, and I got chills. The last time I can remember getting chills on a first listen of an Eden song was Start End, like two years ago, almost over two years ago. <laughs> I got chills the entire time, and I, I literally, tears. Tears were happening. This is what Eden does to me. And I mean, I get chills with like all of his songs, but that's like the one vivid memory I have. Just crazy chills. And I so hell 10 seconds of it, like 10 seconds of it managed to do that to me. So it's a whole nother level of excitement right now. And I know I'm not going to be let down. I just want to get into it, dude. Hopefully the volume is good. I've never done this before. Let's go. Love the French. Oh, it's different than I thought it was going to be. It's so Eden, though. He just has such a particular sound. F-bomb already. I love that. Is that like wind or something in the background? I just... I am getting chills, dude. I literally can't help myself. I love how happy and sad it sounds at the same time. Oh my god. Falsetto. Hit us with that falsetto. He always does. You know he's gonna do it. This feels very like forever slash over to me. And I love that song. This has got a great like flow to it, dude. Dude, he has so much emotion in his voice. It's like one of the best parts about Eden. Like you can hear the emotion. Oh my god. I love how simple the guitar is too, you know? Oh my god, dude. With my heart. Dude, he's, he's not gonna make me cry again, dude. How can I talk about what I think about the song when I'm like literally crying? I mean, I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless. I love that like rising feeling. Oh my god, the high note. Dude. Oh my god. Those notes, dude. That's... And he's actually singing French, dude. I feel like I shouldn't be inter interrupting the song. This feels so man down from when he was in the Eden Project, and I love it. Just the guitar in his voice with like that EQ on it. No tears came out. Okay, no actual tears came out. I mean, there's not much to say, like, every song he's ever put out is, like, brilliant. And this was, you know, no disappointment at all. I don't even know how to, like, express what it is about, like, his music and, like, the just the overall vibe of, like, every song he's ever put out. But it just, like, pulls at your heartstrings, you know? And his lyrics are always, there's always so much more to, like, a second and a third and a fourth listen. Like, when Vertigo came out... I didn't love it. I mean, I loved it because it was Eden, but I didn't love it like I loved I Think You Think Too Much of Me. And, like, it's been two years and, a, and like, a week now since that came out, and I just love every song more and more with every listen. And I know this song is going to be the same. 
I mean, if I didn't already love it enough on the first listen. But let me take a second to look at the lyrics and try to process this a little bit more because there was so much happening. But of course, I'm just going to be trying to interpret. I have no, I, I don't even know what some of his songs are referring to that I've been listening to for years, but I'll try to just process this a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe listen to it a few more times and come back. What am I doing? You think I would have been more prepared, you know? I mean, I got the Isa Home merch. Why wouldn't I wear it? And uh, thank you, Eden, for the the BPM right there. Yeah, all the people doing covers, they're gonna love that. They're gonna that's gonna make their life so easy. So Isa means, according to Safari, um, a line on a map connecting points having the same duration of sunshine. He refers to the sun in the song. Uh, this con connecting with the lyrics is beyond my skill but i did notice that where he says but i missed the way the sun streamed through my window this feels the bridge where he says talk it out cut me off chalk it down to my head and he keeps going um that feels very start endish to me like i i don't know i was just getting those vibes not necessarily um like melodically with like the dub 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 you know that part of start end it's not that similar in that sense but like the lyrics and how like separated and choppy it sounds i don't know it just reminds me of that a lot i love oh okay so the english the english lyrics they're beautiful i i can't make a connection to what they are exactly like upon a first listen uh, it's gonna take me uh, weeks months to be like oh like i see how the, that connects now R right i mean I, it's just not something that i'm good at i will try to translate <laughs> google translate the french lyrics to english though i took french for two years in high school they I'm, i wasn't very good at it but i could try to kind of figure out what he was saying there uh, towards the end because it was like absolutely beautiful and why wouldn't i want to know what that means i say i'm going to try to translate it and then i realize it's literally already translated on here so let me just <laughs> think talk about what it what it's saying oh it says the outro in french roughly translates to so they're not even in it, probably not someone who speaks french fluently that's deep those french lyrics deep dude i don't even know so we got like the nights when i didn't know yet like the nights that taught me to love goodbyes like the nights when we thought everything would be fine but it doesn't matter because the nights noisy bright noisy bright noisy bright are all the same in the end i love this stuff that just makes you think like the first line like the nights when i didn't know yet obviously meaning you know, on some on some shallow level of my understanding, you know, times when like you're confused or you like you don't know who you are or what you're doing or you've lost yourself, referring to like those kind of hard times or like the nights that taught me to love goodbyes. I mean, that could mean a lot of things. That could mean saying goodbye to someone who is like toxic in your life that you're you're happy is gone or or even like a goodbye that's sad but good in some kind of way because you know it's for a good reason i don't there's so many different things that that could be referring to and like the nights when we thought everything would be fine when they were all happy and you know like doing whatever they were doing living life living their best lives um but it doesn't matter because the nights are all the same in the end basically which is kind of you know makes you think like it no matter what no matter what you're experiencing from your day to day you know during the night you have those rainy nights those happy nights where with your friends you're doing whatever at the end of the day like they're all the same that like that can mean so many things too that can mean whatever you want it to mean like as a listener and in my head that just that makes me feel like he's saying no matter how you perceive something in your head like that could be separate from what the actual reality is like your perception isn't always reality as you feel like it is which opens up your mind to like all these different possibilities of you know it, just looking at things from different angles and i don't know where i'm going with this or how that connects to the rest of the song but it's just that little section is all I need to hear to like really get something out of the song and this to make me think and that's just super cool. I just love that. Eden, thank you for making all of your fans almost cry. I know we're all almost crying or crying probably. We're probably all just in our cars screaming to your songs, bawling. Um, it's just his, me you know, I mean his music is just so fantastic and like the community shows that a lot of good people 
are you know attracted to his music and drawn in by it and i think it's a really cool little community that we have going on here and i just want to be a little bit more of a part of it so that's why i made this re reaction video and i do want to listen to on camera all of no future when it comes out very excited for that i mean i've already heard a few of the unreleased tracks from like instagram i made a few guitar tutorials on those but um dude i'm so excited i'm gonna be an actual mess and i'm gonna be a mess on camera for you so look forward to that but yeah thank you everyone for watching and i hopefully you got something out of this keep an eye out on future stuff i'll be reacting to more eden i'll be making more guitar tutorials even for this song i should get on that really soon actually um this song's got great guitar uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. It's gonna take a lifetime.